Five armed robberies within an hour this morning. They come just a day after we reported several 7-Elevens were robbed. CBS 2's Asal Rasai is in Bucktown at one of the robbery scenes. Asal? This all happened between 4 and 5 o'clock this morning. I want to show you a map to give you a better idea of exactly how close these robberies happen to each other. Across the west side, you can see they're close in in adjacent neighborhoods. The last armed robbery happening right here on Levin and North Avenue at 5 o'clock this morning. The suspects in a gray sedan pushing a 22-year-old man to the ground and taking his belongings. Just 20 minutes earlier, they hit two locations just 10 minutes apart on North Tom. There, the suspects robbing two separate victims that were sitting inside of their cars. They again got away with money and some personal belongings. We talked to a neighbor in that area who says he's constantly staying alert and advising others to do so as well. I've been on the lookout in terms of behind me. I always check behind me to my sides who's hiding, like if anyone's hiding by the car. And if so, I, I take the necessary implementation, just keep on walking or running away essentially. The first robbery happening at four o'clock this morning in the 700 block of Jackson. That's where a lot of people are getting off of the train. Commuters there, a 57 year old and a 51 year old man were stopped when four suspects got out of a silver sedan waving a gun and demanding their belongings. One of those men was hit in the head by one of those suspects. 20 minutes later at 420, police say that same car description, four suspects took down a 69 year old man in the 800 block of North Walcott, taking his belongings at gunpoint. Right now, there is no indication that any surveillance cameras, at least in this area, caught that fleeing car. Right now, we do know Chicago police are investigating multiple crime scenes. Reporting in Bucktown, MSL Rezai, CBS 2 News. SL, thank you.